the Ninja Foodie Smart XL Pro pressure cooker and steam fryer. I, it really has a lot of advantages. It does. It automatically releases, and you've seen my videos, and you already know about it, but it also has a thermometer. Well, that is way handier than a lot of people realize because you used to have to, say, take that ham and figure out your weight and try and guess how many minutes you needed to pressure cook it to get it to the right temperature without overcooking it, and especially stuff like this is kind of delicate. If you go very much too far, it's, 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 it's bad. And just like not going enough, but this thing is, with that thermometer, all you have to do, put the thermometer in, and uh, put it in there, set your temperature, and it cuts off when it hits that temp, and then it'll keep it warm till you get home. Well, I'm going to go a little bit, I'm going to take it one step further. I'm, I'm setting it up tonight. It's Saturday night, and we have uh, guests coming over tomorrow after church on Sunday, and uh, I'm going to get everything set up. I'm going to put it in this pot and put it in the refrigerator with the water and everything it needs with that thermometer stuck in it already. And all I have to do tomorrow, because I'm, I'm, I'm almost always late for church, so all I got to do is grab it out of the refrigerator, set it in here, press a couple of buttons, and set it up for my 155 or whatever temp I want to cut it off at. And then hopefully, when we walk in from church, it'll be sitting here ready to go, and all we got to do is take it out and eat it. And I'm going to show you... Uh, that part and the part where I'm kind of getting it ready tonight to put in the refrigerator, just, just so you'll know. Let's get it started. Okay, I'm going to try and keep this fairly simple and quick. And uh, just to make explanation easier, uh, the, the rack I use under here and to keep it as low as possible is the second or the upper level rack that goes with your deluxe rack. So you don't use the bottom part, obviously, but then you also have to turn it to where these short legs are on the bottom. It, it won't even go in there with these long one legs down. I just want to tell you because it is, it is a little, not confusing, it's just uh, without doing it, you, you wouldn't know. But if you try to put the other legs down, it wouldn't sit right and it would have the ham too high. Now, one thing I do is I take the ham and sometimes you may have to alter it a little bit, but you want to make sure that ham is below this level. I mean, you got to take, if you had to take something like this and sit there and make sure you're not there because you don't want it touching this element right here. Because if it is up here, on, especially on this new one, on the one lid, this is closer when you close it, or that's my opinion. And I'm pretty sure I'm correct on that. But uh, And if you're going to do any browning on it at all, but it, it, even if you're not, you don't want it touching that element. Now, I'll, I'll get off of that. Okay, and, and before I forget, right there is it's a 7.27-pound a ham, Smithfield, hardwood smoke. Now, one thing I did notice is they don't have, uh, a lot of times now they have a temp suggestion. If it's there, I, I didn't see it. And I even looked under here. There the ham is. I've opened it up. I'm about to put the cup of water in here. And then, in fact, I'll do that right now. We'll put one cup of water in that pan. I'm going to set this in there just like, I mean, you know, again, common sense. I know y'all know this, but I'm showing it for, you know, there may be people, you know, that feel more comfortable watching somebody do it and Sometimes that gets on some people's nerves. But we're, it shouldn't be a long video anyhow, but who knows? A lot of mine turn in longer than I mean. So I'm going to look for the, you know, the somewhere. You don't want to be on the bone. And I take it, I, that's not. I didn't hit bone. And that's angled that way. I would say that is pretty close to the middle. So I'm going to put this just like this right here. I'm going to get that lid I was talking about. I'm going to put it on there. And, or some type of cover. If you don't have anything but aluminum foil, just put something over it and set it in your refrigerator. And in the morning, all I got to do is set it in here and set up my temp numbers and hit pressure cook and come back after church and eat it. But All right, it is Sunday morning. Here it is right out of the refrigerator. I don't even have to get my hands dirty. That's the nice part about it because I did all of it last night. All I got to do is take this out, set this in. Again, remember the water's already in there. Everything is ready to go. I plug this in. I mean, I would have, I, I did look, but you need to make sure you know you don't have any ham juice or anything on that. 
but mine was not laying in the water and that's something else you would have to make sure about I'm going to turn that so it's a little bit less tension on that make sure my cable clears turn it on set it to pressure or slide it over to pressure I'm going to do a natural release on it not in a hurry uh, we're going to do uh, I got it it takes me a little bit to remember every time <clears throat> whoops I'm going to set it to uh, manual if I can get it to come back up where I got it there and I'm, I'm going to set it to Oh, I gotta do it over here. That's right. I'm gonna set it to 150. That sounds good to me. It's ready to run. Natural release. It's gonna turn off at 150 degrees and then it'll stay, it'll keep warm. So, see y'all after church. All right, I don't know if you caught that or not, but I forgot to set that to seal. Well, now it is. So, we're up and going. It ju I just had started it, so it's good. All right, we just got in from church. It's like 1209. And if you notice, it's been, it had released on the natural release and has been, a, been able to be opened for 54 minutes. So if you do the math on that, I started at about 935. So you can use that information and do some math on it. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and make sure everything's off. It is. We're going to take a look. Now I'm expecting a lot of liquid. This is the first time I've opened it though. And there's not as much liquid as I thought. In fact, it looks really good. So I'm going to get the lid back down on it and kind of wait on everybody to get here. Okay, everybody's coming in right quick for our Sunday dinner. But I couldn't find a way to get a reading off of the internal thermometer. So we're going to use my brand new Thermapen 1. That uh, A little bit of the proceeds go to Operation Barbecue Relief. And it just helps people in need. And it sounded like a good thing. And so that's the one I bought. I, I wanted the new version. It's a little faster. I really don't know if it's that big of a deal, but I wanted one, and uh, this way I get to donate to the people in need. All right, the internal temp right there, 199, and that is, is that's that's hitting the bone, actually. A little hotter than I wanted it. I would have rather it been maybe 175 max, so I'm a little bit over it. No big deal. Just next time, I'll probably set my thermometer up to cut off at, say, 130, maybe 135. But again, y'all saw it. It looks fine. And I got a feeling it will be, and we're about to get it out and see here in a minute. And I'll let you know what it's like. Be back. Okay, it's a little noisy in here, but there it is. When I took it out, it actually came apart. And you see that ham bone, and also that right there. There's things that can be done with that, so don't throw them away. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do with it. But anyhow, it looks pretty good. Uh, you can see the, the fat did well on it, and I've already tasted it. It's it's perfect. It's really good. Now, I, I, like I said, I might not have went quite that hot, and I may set my temperatures different next time. But anyhow, we're about to eat it. Be back. All right, quite honestly, right there is what I shoot for. So you see I'm a little past it on some. So, I, again, I would run But a lot of people like it that way. It just gets a little stringy when it gets too hot. But there's nothing wrong with it. It's, regular, it's great on a biscuit, especially when it makes some, some kind of little red-eye gravy or something out of that right there. But anyhow, I'm fixing to feed it to them. Just wanted you to get one last look. Okay, I got to say, maybe I was a little harsh on it. Because right here is all that is left. And everybody raved over it. And I'm not pretending. I mean, two of my brother-in-laws, there was only two here. And they both said it was the best ham they'd uh, ever ate <laughs> period and you can see it's been in the refrigerator for about four hours and that's what i'm going to put in my uh, ham bean soup and uh you can see that it the fat will if, in case you want to know you put it in the refrigerator now there's other ways but you can put it in the refrigerator and, and it will solidify the fat will and you can kind of get it out of there now that's not the best way to do that <laughs> i probably should have separated them both but you can and that will work but there's also fat separators you can put it in and, and pour the fat off. But anyhow, I'm going to use a little bit of that broth that you see right down there in those beans and, uh, and of course, that ham bone and some of that ham. But anyhow, what I'm getting at, I guess what I'm going to say in the end is that this right here, well, not just this pressure cooker, this right here, that's what makes, if you ask me, the best device on the market. And again, I always sell like a ninja salesman. Uh, I'll say this, Instapot, I, I I loved them for years. They've just kind of dropped back. Ninja has taken this market over. And uh, I said one time I like to dance with the one who brung me, and that was Instapot. They did. One of my first good videos was an Instapot. 
and I'm nobody's paying me. I promise. I'm not being a nickel from nobody. Ninja just kind of took this and 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 took the Instant Pot theory and walked with it. And I know y'all probably already know this and don't want to know, but this right here is the latest and greatest thing on the market. If you ask me, a pressure cooker, you can put this in. It'll do this kind of stuff, and you 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 know what you want, and you don't have to hear it from me. But my point is, you don't have to guess at times. You've heard me say it before. You just put the temp in, and it does it. I put it in here a little while ago on slow cook, on low. Actually, I put it on high to begin with, but anyhow, now it's on low. And I'm I'm about to do my bean recipe, so I wanted it to you know melt all the fat down where I could use it again. Well, I can't quit coming by and eating that right there there's nothing wrong with anything in there this is a really good ham i i regret saying that i had it too far i, I will use that temp probably forever and look at it i mean there's that broth is unbeatable and so is this ham right here you you can't stop i promise you you will not be able to stop eating that <laughs> anyhow hey again Love y'all. Y'all come back to see me cook. Buy you a half a ham. Put it in your uh, Ninja Foodie, whatever they call this thing. I can't remember. The one, the smart lid. The one lid wonder, I got it. And uh, see what happens. Anyhow, good night. And y'all have a good evening. Bye.